Suburban mom busted for growing millions of dollars worth of marijuana. The arrest took some detective work, and her neighbors in Scarsdale, New York, are stunned. ABC's Lindsay Davis has that story for us. What if there's no money? It's like a scene straight out of the cable television show Weeds. Jackpot. Much like the fictional character Nancy Botwin, ABC News has learned 45-year-old Andrea Sanderlin, now accused of running a multi-million dollar marijuana operation, also kept thousands of dollars of cash in her home. In fact, according to court records, her nanny says while Sanderlin was being arrested outside this undercover grow house in Queens, Sanderlin's boyfriend called and told the nanny to gather as much cash as she could from Sanderlin's closet. She managed to collect about $8,000 before being stopped by police. Your drug dealing mommy? Tell her I expect 10 grand on the first of every month. And that sprawling Scarsdale mansion? ABC News has learned Sandalyn moved in about six months ago and pays between eleven and twelve thousand dollars a month in rent, all in cash. It's an expense authorities say she could afford. Her alleged grow house in Queens contained about three thousand pot plants worth an estimated three million dollars. And agents say she may have tried to grow marijuana at two other New York City warehouses as well. All three locations had exorbitantly high electricity bills, consistent with growing weed, and all in Sanderlin's name. I still can't believe what really happened here. And while many neighbors express shock, not everyone thinks Sanderlin's alleged crimes are so bad. She has an entrepreneurial spirit, and I think it's great that she's a single mom, and that's how she's supporting her kids. Unfortunately for Sanderlin, the feds don't quite agree. She remains in jail this morning and, if convicted, faces at least 10 years behind bars.